Hello, um, I'm going to talk to you a bit about rosy barbs. Um, rosy barbs is a group of fish that um, I really, really like. Uh, they're sort of a cross, when you look at them, between a goldfish and a piranha. They've got the sort of gold sort of uh, colour to uh, a goldfish, and they've got the sort of head and characteristics and behaviour of a piranha. Um, they're a big shoaling fish, they, they'll like big shoals. Um, if you keep them in numbers less than, say, three, um, that's when you have problems. Um, they are susceptible when they're in low numbers, low density to uh, disease. And uh, one of the characteristic behaviours, or in most barb species, um, the characteristic behaviour, which is where I'm saying the piranha bit comes in, is that they like the fin nip. Um, it's not a big problem if you've got a lot of vegetation and you've got different types of fish in the environment and you've got a big density of them so it's not a real big problem um, what I've got in my setup I've got a large tank and um, because uh, the rosy barbs are really sort of a, uh, a top fish in terms of where they are most uh, of the day um, I have quite a lot of vegetation in there. I have a few air oxygenating plants and a grass and um, a sort of uh, like a, a feather uh, tree sort of thing in, in this sort of tank. And um, what happens then? I've got different uh, sort of fish for different roles and different sections of the tank. So I've got some sort of platies which sort of go in the bottom of the tank. Uh, Danios that are like the fast flow of the filter so they're right at the top of the tank. I've got uh, paradise fish that are used to sort of highly vegetated sort of lowland areas like paddy fields so they're right at the bottom of the tank. And then I've got um, a little series of uh, white cloudwood minnows which are sort of in between top and bottom so middle. Um, I normally feed my uh, rosy barbs, um, flake food, so tropical fish food, um, that seems to do them quite well. Um, the colouring does change, um, usually when it's sort of breeding time, um, the colour becomes a lot more intense, so it's a lot more intense orange. and. Um, Quite often the breeding sort of uh, partners, they, they have like a, a red, sort of a really dark red sort of um, mark to them right in front of the uh, dorsal fin and that's really nice to see. Um, so yeah, um, <coughs> rosy barbs are orange in colour, um, they have the mouth of like a piranha, um, their behaviour is like a piranha and um, they've got a black spot um, just at, towards the tail or end of the fish and um, if it's stressed the fish um, the uh, sort of uh, how strong that black spot is um, it shows how happy the fish is so if it's stressed it will be uh, less of a, a bang say than a uh, a happy fish where the uh, the coloration of that black spot is uh, much darker. So yeah, um, in terms of disease, um, they're quite susceptible to sort of uh, anything really. But goldfish is susceptible for. Um, they're open to fin rot, uh, white spot. Um, and like any fish, they're open to um, uh, sort of uh, water bowel disease, which affects the fish's balance. Um, but overall, they're quite a, a cheap fish. You're probably talking about two pounds fifty a fish, and um, yeah, and you can get them from most big aquatic stalls. So uh, yeah, definitely a fish that I'd recommend if you've got the space and. If you don't fancy sort of the minnows, which are very small, and you haven't got a, a big tank, um, 
they're a great sort of in between between minnows and um, and goldfish. So yeah. Um, anyway, I'll let you go, and I shall speak to you again. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.